see many things every day, but my best friend showed me that with your eyes closed, you can see things in a different way. Although he's never seen a computer, my best friend knows how to surf the internet. He knows black as a color because of his judo belt. My best friend loves books, even though he's never seen a letter. No, it's not magic. He just tells us, close your eyes and see in a different way. He's my best friend, Nico. Hello, it's time to make friends with Nico. Someone to depend on, you'll be so surprised. Every boy and every girl, cause when you close your eyes, you'll see Nico's world. Listen, you'll see what you've been missing. There's such a lot of wonder in this world. With our eyes closed, we feel the darkness. It makes us afraid. It seems like we're alone, disoriented. It seems like there's nothing. But if we open our eyes, we understand the world better. We notice its sounds, its smells, but above all, its images. And then we think that there's nothing else to know. I'm sure you're anxious to meet my friend. I know I don't want to wait any longer. Go on in. Hmm. My name's Nico. Blind person, that's odd, Bertha. That is odd, Hertha. What is he doing in our class? He's probably made a mistake since he's blind. <laughs> huh? Oh. And I bet he's as big a loser as you are, idiot. How many fingers do I have here, blind boy? Tell me, Terminator, or are you dumb, too? What a shame. <laughs> Look how they're cheating him. We'll help him, Mark Anthony. <laughs> Careful. Mysterious, like a black hole. Could it be a problem with the optic nerve? It was the first day of class. He was new and on top of that, blind. But the way he behaved had an effect on the lives of everyone he met that day. What do you think Nico did? Did he get angry? Did he run away? Now taking bets. Close your eyes and you'll see things a different way. It all started on the last day of summer vacation. Hurry, we're late. Did you get everything? Something's missing. The keys! Oh, oh, you haven't seen any keys, have you? This is Willie Bono, Nico's dad. He creates music for movies and commercials. And they just moved to Bella Vista. The keys are in the ignition, dear. Wow, how's that possible? Come on, Nico, the guide dog school's waiting for us. He's coming! Careful the boxes, Nico. Mom, don't we need to organize them a bit? I'll do it, you're going to be late. I'm putting some cookies in your backpack just in case you get hungry. Mom, I'm not two years old. Well, they're there if you want them. I don't need to tell you that Sarah's Nico's mother, and she has very good taste. She's a designer. Good luck. <laughs> How embarrassing, a blind boy in our neighborhood. Those people, oh! oh. They buy the houses I build. Darn it! Uh, why do they always pick my car? <laughs> this is Stephanie and Leo Lip. In addition to being snobby neighbors, they're also the parents of, well, you'll meet their daughter later. She's nothing like them. Have you seen Tabitha? Nico! Nico. Ow. She's over here behind me, Mom. Bye, Tabitha. Huh? This is Tabitha, Nico's little sister. Besides shaking her rattle, she also loves to explore her surroundings. <laughs> By the way, that rattle isn't a rattle. Hey! Let go of me, you little monster! <laughs> that's Boris. When the Bonos moved in, he was living in the garden. He's always hungry, and that's the only thing that doesn't change with this chameleon. See you later! <laughs> Finally, we'll have a dog in the house. Or out, Dad. A guide dog has to stay with me. I'll teach him to bring me my shoes. So tell me, are you nervous, Nico? Dad, keep your eyes on the road, okay? Huh? Relax, son. No! Are you blind or what? No, my son is. And he can't see what an ace I am with a steering wheel. Now for a little music. My latest sample. Let's see if you can guess what it is. What do you hear? I hear a truck. Wrong. It's a baboon. No, Dad. I hear a truck off to the right and it's coming straight That can't straight be right. Out. I didn't record any truck on this track. Well, this one. That was close. 
Why are we turning? I think I may have found a shortcut. Oh. <laughs> This sounds like the park to me. Relax, they said it was on the other side of the park, didn't they? So we'll cross the park. Get ready, Nico. Your future guide dog is waiting for us. That's how Nico arrived, miraculously, at the guide dog school. And, hey, I need to introduce somebody. I present to you Tom, a young and daring Labrador on the most important day of his life, the day he met Nico. Visitors, we have visitors. My new friend's coming for me. Have they wound up your tail or what? What's it doing, Tess? I can't stop it from wagging. You're a failure. You're trying too hard in the exercises. The boss won't pass you, and you'll never find an owner. I'll train hard, and not only will I have an owner to serve, I'll have a good friend, too. Puppy! Hey, come here, and there he is. Great, just what we needed. Do you see how cute they are, Mr. Bono? Whew, this place smells. I don't smell anything. Not for cover. Sergeant Cologne is attacking us. Better safe than sorry. I hate when she does that for no reason. Well, she always does it. Hey, Tess, look at this one. He's got as much energy as I do. Huh? Whoa, you're tickling me. <laughs> he must be the one that's come to pick me up. Hey, cookies. Mmm. Oh, how thoughtful. Mm. Oh, I feel guilty. A guide dog can only eat dog food. And you should never eat between meals. Now you're in trouble. Heel, Tom, heel. That is very naughty. What do you mean, naughty? I was trying to be nice. You've messed up your hair. Sorry, Tom's a little nervous. Tom, huh? Dad, I like him. He tries too hard. He'll have to train more. Fried fleas. This training is taking forever. It's late. We have to go. Come Soon on, we'll Nico. have the user's course and we'll assign you the dog that best fits your personality. Tom seems cool enough. Let's get going. Leave the dog for today. I'm sure we'll see each other again, Tom. I'm coming, Dad, but I'm going to walk through the park. I want to try Let's and see if this works. Out. Stop, Tom. You can't go out. It didn't work. <laughs> you put your foot in it and ended up without the blind boy. He's gone for good. You're wrong. I'll follow him. And I'll show him that I'm good, and he'll choose me as his guide dog. Are you crazy? You're going to escape from the school? If you're caught, they'll kick you out. I'll take that risk. I don't want to be a guide dog if I'm not with Nico. I'll get it. And remember not to use the uh, word land. It might make him feel bad. Hello, Nico. He sure talks strange. A blind uh, student that studies sacre bleu. Um, hey, I mean, you just said blind. Borgerson, they must be frying him in boiling oil. Leave it alone, Tabitha. Sarah Bono here. Can I help you? Ah, uh, hello, Mrs. Bono. I'm Victoria. Hello, Victoria. <laughs> huh? <laughs> just getting in a workout. We're happy to have your blind son. I mean, visually impaired, uh, Nico. But we have a problem. We don't know how to help him. All we have is a letter from someone named Herman. That's his support teacher. He'll give you all the information you need. Get lost, monster, or you're gonna get it. Oh, fine then. Uh, but do you think that a normal school is the best uh, place for Nico? Yes, most definitely. At the school for the blind. She said blind. No, you uh, can say it. That's enough, Puree. I was happy, and the school was quite good. All his classmates had the same kinds of problems. But now it's too far away from our new house. It'll be good for Nico to be integrated into a normal school. And frankly, my husband and I would rather have him home with us than far away in a boarding school. Ask her if he can work out. Maybe it's dangerous for him to exercise. Do you think he eats with his hands? He'll learn to use less silverware with me. Shh, will you two please be quiet? You'll get it when I turn into a dragon, eh? Nico is a normal kid. The only difference is that he can't see. Herman will clear up any questions you have. I hope so. Thanks, Mrs. Bono. All right, team, we've got to integrate Nico. On your marks? Get set, go! <laughs> I want Nico as integrated as this chair on my head. You're hungry too, Cleopatra. <laughs> It's okay, Octavio. Don't be afraid. I get afraid sometimes, too, when people are mean to me and call me Fatso. I don't know who you're talking to, man, but I understand. I was talking to Octavio and Cleo. Dun, 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 dun. Hello, everyone. Excuse me, but I overheard you talking and, well, people usually think I'm weird, too. Why? Because you wear those dark glasses? Well, no one knows where I'm looking when I wear them, but that's not it. Whoa, but you... You're uh, blind, so who are you talking to? Oh, right. My friend Cleo the lizard and Octavio the duck. 
Come here, little ducky. You know, it's tough for some people to understand that the most important thing is how people are on the inside. Oh, pal, that's what I say. I'm Charlie. And I'm Nico. And you're probably trying to shake my hand, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I love this part. How about you, Oscar? Nice conversation, pal. Why can't I just meet someone lively and less boring? She just described Nico. We're looking for the same thing. Well, where did you come from? Oh, you're so cute. This is great. Nico will sure like her. And me too. Oh, I've got a plan. This? I'm Ro gonna get Ro ya. Bell, scoop that. That's Marrow. Check it out, Cleopatra likes you. I like her. I like lizards. I can hear the noise her tail makes as it moves in the grass. Do you hear that? That's huh? the thing about my pal Nico. He knows how to get more out of his hearing than most people. Nico, here we come. We're getting there, and fast too. Ooh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, whoa. Whoa. Nice catch. Uh. Wow, what a trip. Sorry, why, thanks, are you all right? I'm better off than your bike. Your brakes are worn out. The brakes? How did you know that? Patty, his name's Nico, and if you didn't notice, he's blind. Blind? Oh, sorry. No reason to apologize. What's important is, are you all right? Fine, thanks. I was following the dog, and is it yours? I don't have a dog, yet. I'll be getting one in a few days. Yes, you will, Nico. It'll be me. Hey, kid, get out of here. Leave him alone, Oscar. Don't mind him, Patty. Be quiet and look at me when I'm talking to you, boy. Well, uh, looking at you might be a bit tough. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Leave Nico alone. He didn't do anything. He was just... Shut up, fatso. Oh, Only your animals can put up with you. I think your ducky friend's going to be missing something. His foot. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to teach him a lesson. I can't stand him. Hey, cut it out and leave us alone. <laughs> <laughs> You're my girl! Your girl? Ha! <laughs> when frogs spread flowers. <laughs> Oscar! Stop! Woo! Why didn't you tell me we were going swimming? Oh. This isn't gonna end like this! What? What about the other wheel? Where is it? So, are you new around here, Nico? I just moved on to Dolphin Street. I live over there. Come on, I'll give you a lift. I can't give you my cane. Let go. I need it. Sorry, it's just that I don't know how to... Give me your arm, just like this. Bye, Charlie. Bye, Nico. He's a nice guy. It's too bad he's blind. Hello, Herman here. Look, sweetheart, I told you not to call while I'm working, okay? What? Right, yes, sure. All right. Look, honey, I'm a support teacher for blind people. And not a delivery man. Flour, eggs, bacon, all right, honey, but... Hello, hello? <laughs> what a nut, talking to himself in the hey, middle of the park. Hey, do you know where the Lime Tree School is? Are you a new teacher? <sighs> Something like that. I'm a support teacher for a new boy. He's blind. Yeah. That blind kid? Aren't we lucky? We go to the same school. Follow us. It's not hey, that way. Thank goodness. I sure am glad I ran into you two. Relax, Flappy. I'm declaring war on Blindy. <laughs> so we're going to the same school. But if you rubbed Oscar the wrong way, then get ready for the rest of them. He thinks he's their boss. Hey, Patty, it's getting dark, isn't it? Yeah, how do you know? Let's rest for a moment on this bench. The sun doesn't feel as warm. And the mosquitoes are starting to get really annoying. I never thought about how a blind person lives. I don't know what I'd do if I went blind. It's easy. Close your eyes, open your ears, and tell me what you see. I see the breeze rustling the leaves. I see birds over the trees. Cool. And how can you make out people? By their voice, their tone, or the way they smell. And how do you see me? You seem lively, intelligent, and happy. Ha! Huh. What else? Go on. By touch, I can see... Wait a minute. Close your eyes and do it with me, okay? I see your eyes, your nose, your lips, your chin. I see a whole different girl. I see someone special. Uh-oh, she sounds a bit ticked off. That's my mom. Gotta go. I had a wonderful time. Good well, night, Nico. Good night, Patty. Oh, and thanks for showing me how to see with my eyes closed. No problem. Anytime, Patty. It's easy to see they're gonna be great friends. They get along so well. Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> 
Wait a minute, fly eating poop? But it doesn't even stink. Of course mm -hmm. not. It's camouflage. Have you got any more flies or fleas or anything else? No, I'm clean. What are you, a talking dung pile? I'm a starving transformation magician. By the way, what the heck are you? I'm Tom, and you? I'm Boris, and this is my garden, and this is my house. And he goes, <laughs> now let's go look for food. I saw you with the new neighbor boy. I don't want you to get mixed up with him. Why? What's he done? A blind boy's not right for you. He's got no future. What do you mean? Nico's really intelligent, and he's handsome. Handsome? Uh. Leo, say something to your daughter. Listen to your mother. They're not in our class. Look at Oscar. He'll take care of you. He'll have a career. You're right. He'll be famous for being the guy who failed the most exams in the history of Bella Vista. Oh! When I catch that darn bird! Well, we're back to where we left our bed at the start. Do you remember it? Nico had just met his new classmates on the first day of school. Now that you know him better, how do you think he'll react now? Will he run away or get mad? What will he do? Well, the time has come to show you the answer. Do not talk at once. I haven't got eight ears. Are you really blind? Yes, but it's not oh. contagious. <laughs> <laughs> but were you really born like that? No way, I was really little when I was born. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't believe you're blind. My dad says that a blind person is someone who doesn't want don't to don't see you. Flappy. Flappy. Don't start with your your flappy nonsense. Patty, don't you know blind people oh. can't have children because they'd be born oh. blind, right? Fools can't have children either because they'd be born stupid. Isn't that right? <laughs> oh. I'm sorry, Nico, I was afraid of this. Don't worry, Patty, we need time to get to know each other. We're counting you out, Terminator, so get out of here. Stop it, Oscar. Good morning, everyone. Hi, Hi Victoria. I see that you've met Nico, your new classmate. Nice uh, to meet you, Nico. I don't think he can see you. <laughs> oh. Well, Nico, we have a problem. Your support teacher hasn't arrived yet. Where would you like to sit, Nico? Maybe it would be best next to the door. But that was my spy, Victoria! Last year, Oscar. Hey, you fooled me, Tom. Huh? This isn't a dining room. Relax, Boris. I've got to follow Nico around. And look, you've got food right over there. Food? Why is he in front? He can't see the nose on his face. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm sure Nico will explain that to us, right? Of course, Victoria. If I sit next to the door, it's easier to find the exit. You can help me by keeping the desks in the same place. I can do as peacefully here. Now's the time. Hey, my God! Ah, this place gives me the heebie-jeebies. How am I going to write? We'll have to stop all the time and we'll learn less. If we have to go slow, then let's go slow, right? I've got the right to go slower, but that's not necessary. I'll take notes with my braille speak. I can connect it to my computer. This is what I just wrote. Of all my classmates, Oscar is the most wound up. Sayonara, baby. <laughs> <laughs> to write by hand, I've got my stylus. Though it is a bit confusing. It writes from right to left. Wow, Nico's really smart. Boy, these blind people come ready for class. And how do you learn shapes? Yeah, how do you know that I'm slimmer than her? That's though? easy. In my old school, we brought in real things and we touched them. In that way, we also learned geometric sizes. Chef Puree has got everything you need. Great idea, Patty. We'll have the class in the dining room. You're in charge, pal. Ooh la la, my flambe de puree. Chef Puree, I'd like to introduce you to our new pupil, Nico. Oh, mon ami de Blighty. Do you think we could borrow some vegetables? Tell me, Nico, how can you tell a hard shell from a soft one? Very easy, by biting it. Well, that isn't healthy. I saw a TV that you have to peel off the bell. Don't flip out, Flappy. Don't start with your nonsense again. Don't flip out, big ears. Help me, I'm blind. Relax, remember, if you close your eyes, you can see in another way. It's all in your mind. Huh? Hey, it's true, I've got it all in my brain. I'll find my glasses, glasses, come here. Don't, Don't flip out, Flappy. Wake up now, you're ah! snoring too loud. Home to tear, voila, your glasses. Hey, I found them. Wow, being blind doesn't mean you're useless. We've got to do it again. Well, you know I'm always ready for it. <laughs> <laughs> Magnifique. Satisfy, gentlemen. Cool. I've struck it rich. Hang on a second. Just dessert left. <laughs> Oh, how soft, I never realized. Concentrate on the texture. It's an apple, ha, huh, I'm a genius. You, a genius? Well, now you'll see. My new Otornis cybernetic articulated into what? the air. It's for scratching your ears and nose. Hey, that's cool, but it's a real shame. You know, 
that you can't invent anything for the blind. Yes, I can. You'll see. I'll invent something in 0, 0.0 seconds. I've run out of resources. Where in the world is that support teacher? Can I get my hands on those two? Hey, where's the lime tree school? Actually, we were going that way. Can I have a ride? I'm going to help a blind student. You said blind? Get going! Oh, I'm stop it! Stop it! Blind kids, what if he infects us? Well, that didn't go so badly, did it? It could have been worse. Wait, Nico, I've got something for you. Look, let me introduce you to the hands-free footwear tying device, specifically designed for lazy people and, of course, for blind people. It's fantastic! I can't believe it! Thanks, Aisha! Although I don't need this. Let's see. Huh? Oh! Oh! Ugh. Oh! Well, it needs a small oh. adjustment. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going, Nico? Sightseeing? <laughs> I just caught sight of you, and it scared me. <laughs> <laughs> you think you're funny? We never want to see you here again, because you can't see us. <sighs> Nico, I've got a problem with Max. Max is a bit clumsy. But Anthony says you're a cool guy. We'll be great friends. <laughs> all right, all right, we'll all be friends. See you tomorrow, Nico. Nico. See you tomorrow, everyone. Did you hear that, Oscar? Your classmates aren't saying see you never. They're saying see you tomorrow. Yeah, that's it. See you tomorrow, Nico. Being blind isn't as bad as I thought. Shut up! You won the battle, but not the war. <laughs> Sorry. When you gotta go, you gotta go. See you later, kid. Hey, guy dogs are disgusting! <laughs> I guess you two don't need an introduction. <laughs> right, it's true. You must be Tom. <laughs> I'd say we were made for each other. Hey, that looks like fun. A chameleon, where'd you come from? He really loves you, Nico. Is that why you escaped? But Rebecca said... I can't do it. I have to take the dog they give me. We'll see about that. Oof. Come on, be a good dog and go back to the school. Wait, if you want, I can talk to It's not to up to me, Patty. Uh -huh. In the car, little lady, and fast. Just relax, Mom. I told you not to hang out with him. Hi there. Shut up and start the car. Touch me and you'll see I'm not contagious. Go away, you rude boy. You've got dirty spark plugs. That happened to my dad once. Well, turn it, it's true. What a sense of hearing you got, kid. Speaking of my father. Phew. Late but safe. Hey. I'm going to walk home with Patty. Leo, tell your daughter. Pleased to meet you, neighbor. Leo Lip, successful businessman. I think it's time to make mm -hmm. ourselves scarce. Well, I'll never give up. I love Nico. Whoa. Do you know what, Tom? I asked for you to be my guide dog on the course. I really hate romantic scenes. But now you've got to go back to the school. Let's go. I may be blind, but I've got so much support that it almost multiplies my senses. <laughs> Why do you say that? My dad makes me work on my hearing, my mother on touch. I'll help with your sense of smell. You won't believe the perfumes I make. And even Tom helps me with my sense of taste. He ate my cookies. Mm. And your sight? My eyes? Well, I hope I can get those for my friend Tom. And that's how Nico met his friend, Tom the Guide Dog, his best friend. And that's me, and my best friend is Nico. Watch out! Did you know that certain kinds of money are designed with blind people in mind? These coins and bills can be distinguished by touching them. The coins are all different in size and weight. Their value in numbers also appears in relief on the coin. Some bills get bigger in size from smaller to larger. Others have their number in relief on the front and back so that blind people can know their values. Here's a game. Get together with your friends and see who can recognize the most coins with their eyes covered. <laughs>